And uh, hello, this is uh, Imbecile. Uh, my name is Steven. Uh, nice to meet you. It's uh, my, my first video for uh, Modern Warfare 2 using a uh, Turtle Beat chess set <laughs> at Swan. And uh, we're going to play an Afghan here today. Uh, lots of classes that I like running around a lot, Rebrawl. Um, wasn't high, I just got Ninja this rank. I'm using the UMP Silenced uh, Marathon Pro and Lightweight Pro with a uh, Ninja, trying to get Ninja Pro. Uh, now, it was all first impressions count a lot, and the reason I have game audio playing, I apologize, but uh, I play music. I play music a lot when I play uh, Call of Duty on Free For All because I'm not talking to anybody. And it turns out my uh, capture card was recording the music, so uh, and, uh, music is kind of sensitive. I don't, I'd prefer just straight commentary and the game audio instead of the music. In my later videos, uh, I don't have any music playing, so you'll, you'll hear the game audio. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, this is an Afghan. You know, running around, just I can't find anybody, as you'll, as you'll soon see. And I, I have a pretty rocky start, but it, it ends up going pretty well. I'm gonna check the big bunker. I mean, I'm, really, I'm just running around to all the popular spots, trying to find somebody, <laughs> anything to get things going for me. I find them in the cave, naturally, and, uh, the cave is, I don't like the cave, because the Claymore Camper and the other guy over there, just, I was very confused who I should be going for, and I can see him get shot in the back. Uh, so, uh, I'm not playing real smart in the beginning, usually I don't rush right back to where I died, but, I mean, yeah, see, now the camper moves over with the P90. Yeah, cave is a pretty rocky thing to go into is uh, lots of entrances, it's pretty dark, visibility is very low. And uh, see here, I uh, check his skull camera spot, and he's moved again. Like the, the cave will offer just many places to hide. And turn the oh, Lightweight Pro 4, that's, well, that's where I get Lightweight Pro. But uh, yeah, I get going through the triple there. And I figure they'll come back, so I reload, you know, kind of kind of wait for him. And then I uh, saw the guy over there. And then just go up right back to the cave, and that's a predator missile. One away from a Harrier, I'm like, oh, these bushes will be a great spot. And uh, don't recommend those bushes, guys are shot right there. So probably should have waited a bit longer on that predator. But that's okay. Uh, go out to the cave, get the easy kill, and get... No, didn't get him. Yeah, I guess I should introduce myself a bit more. Um, I make Call of Duty videos. Uh, with a Dazzle, I use a Dazzle DVC 100, I believe it's called, and now that using a Pinnacle Studio 12. I have a Turtle Beach X1 headset for my game audio and microphone. And really, I like to run around a lot. That's what I, that's what I do. I don't, I don't really like camping. It's I usually only camp when I'm one away from a kill streak that I think will get me lots of kills. And then you, most of the time I won't get the kill I was looking for. <laughs> so, might as well just be running around the entire time. I figure I'll call my predator in here. Uh, it's a dark place, and that harrier is messing people up, and I don't want that, so there goes the harrier. And you can use predator missiles to take down Pavlo, chopper gunners, uh, you cannot shoot down UAVs or AC-130s with predators, so take note of that. And there's my harrier, I finally get uh, I'm trying to hesitate to call that in, make sure it's all clear. Call it on corner. Uh, Harriers are great to call in on corners because not only will they kind of airstrike the area, it, any campers, but uh, more often than not the corner, they'll be able to get the maximum visibility and be able to shoot people from very long ranges. So, yeah, just, I'm letting my Harrier do the work for me. I'm trying to wait for an AC 130 that I have set up and. No, I don't want to be a naked camper trying to watch from my side, make sure people aren't running in after me. And, and there's my AC-130, and I'm kind of waiting for my Harrier to be blown up, or, or to leave, because that way I maximize the kills I get. My bad, with my UMP, so I have a Spaz-12 shotgun. I mean, the shotgun's very good, as you see there, it has a ridiculous range. And it kills them in one shot, if not two. Even without stopping power. And it fires quick enough to the second shot's not a big deal. Try the other bushes. <laughs> Hope those work out. And 
I don't remember how well I do with the H130 here, but uh, most people don't realize that the 25 millimeter uh, kind of machine gun you have working for you will kill them in one hit. So I try to max them out on that. Try to maximize the kills. You get you only get 40 seconds with an AC-130, so you try to do the best you can. And really, it's a good to fire one or two 40s next to each other, because generally 140 won't kill a person like you want them to. Stress rating. Uh, I see cameras by the cave. Uh, in Poppy Field. Just I love the AC-130. And I saw a guy in Poppy Field, so I'm gonna run over there. Uh, try to kill the guy in Bobby Field, but I get shot by the bunker. But, I mean, yeah, that's the, that's the way it goes. I mean, I'm not as good as Blame Truth, or Wings of Redemption, or JX, or any of those cats. You know, they're, they're really good, but uh, I, you know, uh, I'll average a 2-1, to 3-1 to one KD most of the games, and yeah, it works out. I trade the bunker, it's all clear. Uh, move around to track the big bunker, and lo and behold, there is a person in there. Yeah, <laughs> there'll usually be a person in the big bunker, uh, mid percent of the time. And if you're playing free for all, uh, team deathmatch will probably be about 70% of the time because it's just I don't know what it is about people in this game, but they think bunkers are a great place to camp or enclosed areas, and it doesn't really work out too well for them. Uh, and yeah, that's my first video of Call of Duty Mom Over 2. Uh, yeah, it was nice meeting you, and hopefully you'll subscribe, rate, or comment, and I'll post another video soon.